and we've now installed Zara Radio. We're going to go through and sort out all your preferences now. So you want to press the O key on your keyboard and you'll notice all the options comes up. We're going to go ahead and set up the program in terms of our preferences. So uh, this is mainly an automation software, so you can have it on an automatic mode. So you're going to want tracks to overlap and they're going to want to fade. So the default is 8 and 4, so it will start overlap, uh, overlapping at it will start overlapping um, here, so at 8 seconds, and it will fade the tracks at 4. Okay, uh, it will also detect the end of songs, so remember if you play very quiet songs, you might want to uh, have that a bit lower, uh, or if you play louder songs a bit higher, it's completely up to you though. Then after, if you're planning on using any satellites, so that's anything, uh, if you if you take news feeds in through satellite, anything like that, you want to just select where it comes into the computer. Uh, also, we've got output, so where we want our outputs to be. So a lot of radio stations use mixers. In fact, I've got one uh, rigged up at the moment. So I'm going to choose Zara 1 as the sound card. Now, these are where you want the speakers to go. So whether it's just coming out your computer speakers or whether it's coming out a USB sound card or whatever you may have, go through and select that. There's also two auxiliary players, uh, and they are these ones here, one and two. So that means rather than just having one main player, you can have a player and another player and another player. Uh, so you want to choose where they're going out of. So I'll have them coming out of my uh, jingles. Then after that, you want log. So if you are uh, an FM radio station um, in the UK, I know you are regulated by Ofcom to keep logs of what's happening. Um, so you can enable logs there if you are and choose where you want them. Uh, I'm not going to enable them though. Um, and basically that will say everything that has happened with the program. Uh, there's also a password option. So if you want to enable protection and stop people from messing up the options, you can do so. So uh, I'm going to enable protection and just write in a password here. There's also elements to protect. So you can protect the events dialog uh, and we'll come on to that later. The pending events, uh, you can play the events manually, options dialog, and we'll come on to all of that later. But uh, if you want to be top secure, then I would probably tick all of those boxes and that just restricts what um, your presenters can do. Uh, also there's the silence detector. Obviously if this is just primarily used for uh, automation then you're going to want to enable the silence detector so it will automatically move on to the next song if there's not however many seconds you choose of audio. However if you're going to be talking I'd recommend unchecking that because whilst you're talking if that goes over 15 seconds it's going to start playing a song so I'm going to uncheck that. If you've also got a built-in mixer application under the mixer section, you can choose the path to that and then you can automatically access that from this little icon at the top. Uh, there's also the top of the hour configuration. You can choose the temperature, the humidity, uh, and also so that will announce what these are. You can use your own audio for that and you have to import that from a file. Uh, you can also change what kind of unit you want the temperature uh, measured in. Uh, there's also the Explorer, so that will tell you when you go to look through files, it will tell you what files that you can uh, choose from. So select however many you want, um, and that's it really. Um, that's that's the Explorer, so we've got, um, automatically you'll notice we've got WAV, MP3, OGG, and WMA. Uh, you might also want LST, M3, UPLS, uh, sequence, rotation, event, uh, batch files, all that kind of stuff. So whatever your uh, primary source of audio is, I know mine's MP3 and WAV, um, but it's whatever you've used. Uh, there's also tags, you can enable the tags as well, uh, and you'll notice uh, it's got a key there for tags. Uh, I don't usually enable them, but that again is completely up to you. Uh, there's also talk over, so there is a little button down here, or you press T uh, on your keyboard, and that will slowly bring the volume down so you can talk over it if you haven't got a mixer, that's ideal for that. So you can choose how many milliseconds it takes. Uh, I'm going to go for 600, I think. Or you can just type it in as well, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, and then finally, there's the general sec uh, sec section, uh, and that's the station name there. Uh, so we'll we'll just put um, Zara FM. Uh, you can also use the output here, uh, where you want the current song file. So if you're using a uh, encoder and it needs to know the song title uh, it will go to that folder 
Um, you've also got the choice of languages again here and you've got all the other options. So if you want Zara to start automatically when you open up your system, you've got AGC, um, you can open more than one Zara radio program, uh, shut down confirmation and play tracks by double clicking on them. They're the two most useful because that, if you press the X, it will just exit it. Whereas if, you're, if you've got the confirmation, it will say, do you really want to exit? Uh, and secondly, you've got the play tracks by double clicking on them. And that's how I like to play tracks is double clicking rather than playing, uh, pressing the track and then pressing play or, or enter on the keyboard. It's a lot easier just to double click. Okay, there we go. That has set up all our preferences and notice how it's automatically got uh, the date and time uh, here from your computer as well. So that's all automatically set up. There we go. Uh, so you can also drag these around wherever you want them along the row. You can also create another one. Uh, it's completely up to you with that. Uh, check out our channel for more videos on how to use Zara Radio and we'll see you next time.